What is up you two, my name is John and today I will be reacting to a singer whose name has been mentioned in the comments from basically the very beginnings of my channel and his name is Dimash Kudaibergen. I might have butchered his name so I'm extremely sorry about that but we are going to be checking out Sinful Passion because one thing that I wanted to mention before I start this video is that I actually already heard two songs by this amazing vocalist and that was I believe SOS and the second song was something in French I can't really pronounce the name of that song so again I'm sorry about that but we are going to check out Sinful Passion as I said before I've not heard this one before uh, it has seven minutes and two seconds and yeah he has been mentioned so many times and I've seen tons of reaction channels you know doing Dimash reactions and I just want to, you know, just listen to his voice again because it's been quite some time since I've heard those two songs that I mentioned. But you know, without further talking, let's just get into the music and especially into the vocals. So here we go. Dimash Kudai Burger. Dimash Kudai Burger. Sinful Passion. Three, two, one, now. Yeah, he's from Kazakhstan. Actually. Парень раньше нас, друзья, с вами понял, где больше зрителей поехал в Китай. И, между прочим, там, внимание, победил в проекте «Голос». Is this a show? Человек из Казахстана Might be. победил. С хитом oh, от Sochi. студио «Грешная любовь». Olympics. Впервые на новой волне. Прорыв года. Димаш Кудайбергенов. С песней «Грешная страсть». Oh, man, that's one hell of a glittery, glittery phone. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Shh, shh. <laughs> Starting very deep. Uh, sorry about stopping in here, I don't usually stop videos, but I just wanted to mention really quickly that how I'm surprised that I've actually not really heard all that much of his lower register before, but it's actually surprisingly powerful, you know, I heard these high notes before, those were absolutely fantastic, but I didn't hear all that many low notes, but very bassy, really like it, let's go forward. Triangle solo, please. Yeah, get that feeling in there. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's building up to something. Yeah. Jesus. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> No way. No way. <sighs> this was performed at the Olympics. Vocal Olympics. Because he would win. He would win all. He, he would win it all with this. <laughs> that lady on the right, she's like, uh, um, I can do better. <laughs> oh my. That's a lot of. <laughs> oh my god. It's a lot of flowers. Spasiba! I actually understood that. <laughs> Man. I was actually curious to hear his speaking voice. Um, oh, subtitles. Счастье вам, приезжайте в Казахстан, мы вас любим очень. Димаш Кудайбергенов. Эм. Аплодисменты. Я сейчас не могу с тобой унести. Спасибо. Мэн. На сцену приглашаются профессиональные сочинские носильщики, чтобы унести цветы Димаша Кудайбергенова. Дэм, I hope he's not allergic to flowers, because that would be a shame. Oh man, I, okay, so that was Dimash Kudaibergen Sinful Passion. Wh and I believe that was performed at the Sochi Olympics. Or actually not, this is the contest of young pop singers opening night in the New Wave Hall Sochi. So that is not like Olympics. I, I don't know why Olympics, I think he performed at Olympics, maybe I'm completely wrong, just tell me down in the comments how dumb I am for thinking that and uh, what do you want me to say man like he, he began this song with you know very you know very he really laid low for quite some time there but it was all just to prepare you for what happened at the finale there and there is no possible way that I could be ready for that because whatever happened there you know, I'm not a singer, I'm not a vocal coach or anything, but I'm a man who can appreciate amazing vocals and amazing talent. And that was presented to me right now in this performance. You know, sometimes when people like to sing in really high registers of their voice, their lower voice usually isn't all that good, but that is not Dimash's thing, because both of his, you know, all of his vocal range, basically, there was not a one single moment where I was, okay, so maybe he's a little weak right here, 
No, he's not. He's he's just mastered everything, man. Like, <laughs> how? My only question is how long did it take to master your voice to this level? I just think that Dimash is the kind of person who has a God-given talent to him. But he's not like, okay, so I'm talented, so I don't really have to practice all that much. No. He put hours and hours, I'm pretty damn sure that he put years and years into practicing his vocals. So when a God-given talent meets hard work, this is what happens. Something absolutely amazing happens. And I don't know how he does everything. It, everything is so freaking clean, man. Like, from the, from the lowest, lowest notes to the highest ones, it's just insane. And the range. I mean, someone told me that this guy has a 7 octave range. Also, I really liked how in this song, you know, the operatic and the classical singing, he just kind of made a great mix with uh, these styles. And he can do it both, you know, basically perfectly. Like, there is not really anything negative that I can say about his voice and his vocals and his performance because I just fail to find anything. Like, maybe it can be a little bit too intense for some people, but there is that. There is nothing negative that I can say. Like, honestly, I can just not imagine another person just going up on stage and trying to sing this song live to an audience that I, I just don't know anyone else, man. Right now, I just can't... Not, not a name pops up in my head. Only Dimash Kudai Bergen. And goddammit, I need to hear more of his performances because... There is really something addicting about his performances. Also, his stage presence, you can just really see sometimes when the camera just zooms in on his face or, or just, you know, just his hand movements and everything. His stage presence is also really strong because he's really feeling all that stuff that he's doing. He's really into it and that is also very important because if you're just standing there, you know, holding microphone and just going like... Who was gonna like that, man? <laughs> Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to Dimash Kudai Bergen, Sinful Passion. Uh, I'm definitely open to doing more uh, Dimash reactions in the future, just not SOS and that French song because I've already seen and heard those, those are amazing, but maybe something new. We will see, let me know down in the comments what you think about my reaction, this video, Dimash, his voice, everything, just let me know. If you did enjoy this reaction and this video, consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribe for more stuff, because as you know there is always more videos coming your way, and if you feel like talking to me outside of YouTube, there are links to my social medias down in the description below this video as well as a link where you can directly support my channel and what I do here either by PayPal or on Patreon. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Dimash Kurai Bergen, for bringing your voice from the heavens down here to Earth to us mortals, and I will see you all in the next video. So have a nice day, evening, night, or whatever you have right now. Cheers!